Divine Intimacy, Meditations on the Interior Life for Every Day of the Liturgical Year by Father Gabriel of St. Mary Magdalene Introduction by Richard Cardinal Cushing, Archbishop of Boston In these times, when the lines of battle are being drawn more and more clearly between the forces of religion and those of atheism, we see the devotees of each of these systems calling upon every resource at their disposal. Before one can really fight for a cause, he must be fully convinced of the truth of it. He must ponder its ideals and adapt his thoughts and actions to it. We can be sure that the fervent communist gives serious thought and frequent consideration to the ideals for which he is sacrificing himself. Only in this way can he fire his zeal to continue the struggle. But we, as Christians, have a much greater cause to fight for. It is greater precisely because it is true and divine. How mistaken we are if we neglect to increase our knowledge of, and zeal for, our faith. We can hardly expect to remain fervent and apostolic Christians unless we make it a practice to ponder the truths of our holy religion to strive to identify our thoughts with those of Christ our leader, and to transform those thoughts into effective action in his service. This book is a mine of inspirational thoughts, an excellent book of meditations, which aims at helping us to review and concentrate on the treasures of our faith, so that an intelligent appreciation thereof will become a significant factor in our thinking and acting. It should also prompt us to be one with Christ and to bring about the most intimate union that is possible in this life between souls and God. The author of Divine Intimacy, Father Gabriel of St. Mary Magdalene, was one of the outstanding discalced Carmelite authors and lecturers of modern times. A devout son of St. John of the Cross, he devoted himself generously and tirelessly to the task of promoting that desired union, both in himself and in others. His book of meditations for each day of the year is an outstanding part of his effort. Faithful to these meditations from day to day, we shall know Christ and live Christ, absorb his teachings more fully, and become more dedicated to his service. Our zeal for the cause of Christ will then equal, nay, far outstrip, that of the atheistic communist. He meditates on false doctrines, the works of godless men which lead him to become less than a man. The Christian meditates on the gospel of Christ, which leads him to become something more than a man, to share in an intimate manner in the life of God himself, to become godlike, or, in the words of St. John of the Cross, God by participation.